did a little herping yesterday, so I'm gonna go over how I go and find spots and the kind of things you'd expect when you go to a new spot. So this is a random road that I had decided to go down that I had done a lot of research on Google Maps about, and I figured the best way to go check it out to see if it was really worth it was to go visit it, so I did. First snake of the night was literally right after right after the sun went down like in pretty much immediately after that there was still a little bit of sun in the sky when this guy came through it was a ribbon snake and usually um when you find a new spot the best thing to do is literally just to drive it and see if there's any dead snakes on the road if there are dead snakes at least you know that snakes are moving or snakes are on that road so you're in the right direction nice and calm good job thanks for not musking all over me Right. Oh, I spoke too soon. Go that way. Go that way. All right, bud. Hopefully we find a. All right. We'll stay out of the road. It's another ribbon snake. You want to see it? Do you? Second snake of the night was this micro Florida brown snake, and the thing is, is that until I came to this spot. I had never found one, and as you will surely see pretty soon, um, they were the most common snakes tonight. How did I see him? I have no idea. He looks like a pine needle. Look how tiny this dude is. I have no idea how I saw him, to be quite honest. He already has a nub of his tail bitten off by something. How adorable he is! Welp, third brown snake ever, second time from this spot. He's a baby. Go about your business. Sweet. I had stopped because I thought I saw a snake and it actually wasn't. I get out of the car and I turn around and behind me on the road, coming out on the road since I had been out, was this guy right here. This Florida brown snake was just creeping on the road and I ended up... Uh, you know, looking back and finding them. This spot is just full of snakes. And again, I'll show you how I found this spot. I'm not gonna show you the exact spot, but you know, it gives you an idea that you can just pick out any random place and you never know what kind of gold mine you're gonna find. Okay, no one showed me this spot. I found it myself and now I have another spot to go to and I have a spot to go to if anyone wants to find Florida brown snakes, which before I had never even seen one. So now I know that they're here. Go on your merry way, bro. Thanks for the time. Well, hello, good sir. Is this ribbon snake number two? Yes, it is. Put a shoe on over already. Ugh. I know, I know. Good to know. <laughs> so basically, what all I do is I look at a map of the area I want to be in. I look at the kind of animal I want to find, whatever snake it is. Um, say there's a snake that um, I know that pretty much only lives in the sand hills in a certain area. Um, I'm going to look for areas with sand hills. If I want to go and find a diversity of things, I might go to a forest. Um, like uh, right here, I'm looking at Apalachicola, and I've never been here before. It is a place I plan on going, but I zoom in on the map, and I like to find the outskirts of things first. It kind of gives you a good idea of you know how long until you know how how much driving you might have to do if it's right on the edge of a city i'm gonna go as close or as far away from people as i can but if it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere like Apalachicola kind of is you can go to the outskirts and find snakes just as easy so i look down and i look at all of the dirt roads that go through good habitat or what looks like good habitat and these are all roads that go out in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere so this is probably going to be a good spot to at least start to explore and you can tell that there's water around there's all sorts of different environments there's some you know disturbed habitat as well as some deep forest in there so you know, Apalachicola is a very well-known place, but say if I want to go and try to find somewhere, you know, that might be a little closer to, you know, a population center. And you see that the discoloration throughout the state there, that's all disturbed sand hill habitat. That is where a lot of the sand hills are in Florida is that ridge right there that goes down. 
and so you know there's also a lot of farmland out here but that's where you're going to find a lot more pine snakes and um, hog nose and stuff like that is along those bridges um, I just look at this random spot out by the St. John's River which again I've never been to and I'm going to look for the areas that are well heavily forested and there are some WMAs through there. I know that there's some wildlife management areas. I know if there's going to be nature, it's going to be in places like this. So I zoom in and find the dirt roads. Make sure there are roads that go out through this natural area because if you're road cruising, well, you kind of need a road. And so um, even these are like just new developments where um, they've recently done stuff. So there could be snakes throughout the neighborhood there, but it's right on the edge of a bunch of land. And I know that if I go out there, my chances of finding a snake are better. But the thing is, is that it's, you have to go out there. You can't just, you know, guess work a couple times and go, I mean, you could, you could come across a place, but you have to put in the legwork driving and looking at these areas yourself is the best you can do because there's only so much you can do just by looking from a sky high view i'll look for one more place and i'm going to be looking at the green swamp here it's one of the largest um wild areas left here in florida one of them and um i'm going to look and see that there's a bunch of disturbed areas right next to the forest but there's a lot of roads that go through it now i've been through the green swamp a bunch of times so i know there are snakes out there but uh, it, it, this looks like a promising place. I haven't been to this part. Yeah, you know, all these roads that go through, you know, a little bit of town and then deep in the woods. This is a great place to look. I hope you liked that video. I know it was a little bit different the way I did it. Like, comment, subscribe if you like that type of content. If you want to see more stuff like that, I can definitely, you know, do more of a commentary angle on herping videos. You know, I'm trying different things out. So if that's the type of thing you want to see, please let me know below. If not, thank you for liking and subscribing and I'll see you tomorrow.